with some fava beans. What is up, Psychos? I'm Mighty D. Welcome back to another Friday 13th game Camp Blood mod video. Uh, today we have some uh, pretty interesting things to go over. We're going to be looking at a content teaser that they have released for us, as well as they put together this really cool list of all the confirmed content coming to Camp Blood. That is, it's pretty long, so we won't go through the entire thing, but I just want to look at a few of the highlights here and then obviously discuss it with you guys as well. That's always the point of these videos. Um, First part's the information. Second part is us as a community breaking it down. What we're excited to see, what we want to see, things like that. We're going to go ahead and play it fully through so you guys can see uh, some of these cool skins they have, and then we'll break it down. Part two, retro. Actually, I haven't seen this yet, so this is really cool. Yeah, that's the Frost Jason coming to the snow maps. A lot of people asking about Savini coming to the to Camp Blood, it, and it, it looks like it is coming. Okay, so, Friday Thirteenth Camp Blood. I'm this. These things are so cool. I, 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 you guys know how much of a fan I am of this game and of this community, and I, it's so awesome to be talking about this with you guys. But let's let's go back and look at these because there's a few things that um that kind of just stick out to me. So let's start with the first one, Part Two Retro. And in this little content list, it confirms that every Jason is getting a retro variant. So that's pretty cool. Over here, we have Roy, the bloody Roy, that's for sure, with this like mustard color overalls. And then we got the part three. Now, I could be wrong, but his mask looks a little different here. It looks a little more yellow worn, it's like closer to like reboot. You know how in the reboot his his mask was very dirty i i don't know if that's maybe i'm tripping because it's pretty late but maybe that looks a little different and then we have the the frost jason i don't know what we're calling this jason part eight frozen jason with all this ice the mask looks awesome i love that but i think that the the fro like the frozen idea is it's it's interesting that's for sure uh it's almost like jason is you know buried and left in the snow and he came back it's pretty cool another thing we have to look at here is the machete the machete is not the same here. It's a much different rusty. Also, I want to go back to that. This is a cool looking Roy. It gives me some Michael Myers vibes with the boiler suit. I don't know why, but I absolutely love that. And then here's something that I haven't seen a lot of people talking about is uh, another skin idea that they brought up is Savini without the chains, um, which I don't know. I always thought the chains were pretty badass, but here he also looks pretty dope with his shirt nicely tucked in. I mean, hey, it's more content, so I'm cool with it. But yeah, you can get a better look at the, the machete here. It almost looks like FVJ's uh, machete. And then we have the bloody Frost Jason. Bloody retros are a thing. That's what we have for our little content teaser. I love that they're releasing more of this stuff, keeping it hyped. Um, but I want to take a look at just some things that we have confirmed coming. So one of the things that we have confirmed here, and I have the list, is the New York map. A completely new map featuring New York is coming which I, I cannot wait till we see some footage on that because I know a lot of people are hyped for that. I definitely am too. We got Pinehurst Small, completely new map. They added the wooded pitchfork, the spear. It's available for every Jason. Uh, they have their own kills, Sludgehammer, you know, obviously Uber Jason and the Grendel, Machete Etz. Paranoia is coming, which I, I want to get gameplay of so bad. I can't wait till we get, I can get my hands on that. We got the slumber clothing pack, all those cool stuff. We got some new unreleased clothes for Fox, Victoria, Shelly, and Mitch. Um, Grendel will have its own thing going. You know, the Lazarus experience, which we did a video on. It says here that the knife will be its own weapon. I don't know if that's the same knife mod that we did when we did Michael uh, Myers and Ghostface, but um, that's pretty cool. I like the idea of that. They brought it back a lot of the old unused sounds and stuff like that, like for Pamela and for uh, Tommy Jarvis and a shovel is a new weapon something i've seen on this list that's pretty interesting to talk about is they're bringing back a lot of the alpha animations and characters it says here they changed the walking animations for part two three four five uh to the alpha animations they changed the main menu which i'm excited to see and then of course we're getting remake jason and freddy vs jason jason i cannot wait to see i, I just cannot wait to play those jasons it's gonna be so awesome yeah a lot of content coming to camp Lut. And I couldn't be more excited, but as always, I want to know what you guys think down below. Let's let's have a discussion. So comment your thoughts. I'm here for it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to slash that like button. If you like what I do here and you want to support, become a member of Slasher Game. Unlock exclusive perks and videos. Check the social links down below. Follow me on Twitter for updates. Join the Discord to talk to the community. 
don't forget to subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on more horror gaming videos like this one until then don't do drugs don't have sets and oh yeah don't die